welcome back to my podcast. Today I want to talk about friends. Friends is something that we all want to have, we all do have, we may want want more, we may only want one. Or are you one that copes very well without friends? Friends is something that means different things to different people. But in the majority, is that your first friends are your siblings. When you first grow up, usually they become your friends. But your first true friends are usually your cousins. If you are lucky to grow up with them, they become your true friends that you start to tell everything to and you, and you start um, telling all sorts of things to them about your siblings and your parents and, and everything else. Then as you get older, you go to school and college and uni and you pick up a few friends along the way. Some will stay with you all the way through and some will come and go. The ones that come and go tend to be is that you need them for a, a certain amount of time, then as you grow or they grow, you don't need them as much or they just fill an area at that particular time. When going through uni, that's when you start truly making your adult friends. These are ones that where often you may marry. And when you get married, you acquire a whole lot of other friends, which is your partner's or husband's friend or wife's friends or whether you just choose to be together. You tend to pick up their friends. And this is where friendship starts to be a little more complicated. You may meet someone that becomes your life partner that is totally the opposite to you, which is usually normal, some more extreme than others. And with that, people become friends that are like them. So you have a common bond with your partner, the one that you have chosen to live the rest of your life with. However, it doesn't mean to say that you like their friends. And this is where friendship becomes really hard and partnership because you have to accept your partner's friends regardless. They are friends with them for a reason. Doesn't mean to say you have to like them, but you do have to respect his friendship with them. This is where often it is conflict with a lot of relationships. Some will slowly get rid of their partner's friends because they want them all to themselves or they don't like their partner's friends. And this is where it makes it really hard again because the family see the partner as an evil person because they are slowly getting rid of their partner's friends. And I know automatically you will think of many people that you have met that have done that. And you may have been one of the friends that they have cut off. I know it's happened to me and it's really hard. Our best man at our wedding had met this new woman and she slowly cut off everyone from his life. He was really sad because he was a great guy, but he couldn't see it. And every time we rang to visit him, because he lived a good hour and a half away, and every time we rang, it'd be like, yeah, sure, no worries, come on down. Or it would be, you know, he would say that, because we'd ring him. And then when it got closer to the time, or sometimes when we're only half an hour away, she would ring and say, he can't meet you, he's got an appointment, he's got um, a migraine, he's got this, for whatever reason, we were never able to catch up with him. Then when my husband died, I thought, no, I'd blow it. I'm gonna ring him and let him know. But it, the friendship had already gone. So that's one area of friends. When it comes to close friends, no matter who it is, are they close friends through an area? Is it through an organisation that you belong to? Is it to a sporting club? Is it through work? Is it through church? Where is that? Where are they from? And then you've got your acquaintances. 
then you've got your special friends. And then there are the extra special friends that are the ones that you tell everything to. They know you. The minute they walk in the door, they know what's, what's up with you. They know how you're feeling. They almost know what you're thinking. These are the few where you may have one or two, usually not many than three, of the extra special friends that you tell everything to. But these are the ones who know your intimate secrets. They know you inside and out. They know what's happening even when they look at you. These are the ones that you should be feel comfortable and talk to about everything because you know that no matter what, whatever's happening in your life, they will be there. I have a, a couple of these amazing friends. They know me inside and out. They know that I, what I'm like. They know that I can be snappy. They know that I can be a little blunt, but not meaning it. And because I've had a number of things happen in my life, they have been there no matter what. Even when I got very sarcastic, they just accepted me for who I was because they knew it wasn't me. These are friends that I strive to do absolutely anything for. They would just have to ring in the middle of the night and I'll be there in a heartbeat for them. So these are ones that make life good. And the thing is, is that when we have our special life partner, we want to be able to tell them everything. And we should have that communication with them. But sometimes there are some areas of where you just can't. Some things that you just need a girlfriend or a mate to talk to. To talk about all the things that are a little too sensitive that you can speak to your partner about because you're so close to it that they don't understand. And then let's go to work. When you're at work, how much do you let them know? I know some people that they are an open book, doesn't matter where they are. They can be in a lineup at the bank and the person in front of them will know their whole history by the time they get to the teller. And I know you know some of them also. But sometimes there are those that go to work and their, their workmates will have no idea whether they have a partner, they're married, what their status is, whether they have children, family. They know nothing about them. They go to work, put their head down and they work. I find it a little sad for some of these people purely because you spend most of your time at work through your life than you do with your life partner and family. As you, you have create this life with your life partner and then you eventually have children, adopt them, foster them, whatever, you create a family, you spend a little bit less time with your family because you're busy, but you're still at work. And this really played out for me that I understood more so and when my husband was sick. He had his church family, he had his biological family, he had his work family, and then his friends family in the car clubs. With having all those different sets of friends, at his funeral, they all had their say. And it was wonderful because the workmates knew him so well. And it was wonderful that they had their say and let everyone know how much of a part of work they were. So this is why workmates are important. I'm not saying that you become friends with everyone because you won't understand everyone and you won't know everyone because of the different personalities and also because of how big businesses are these days. If it's a, a big business and it's all different departments, yeah, you're not going to meet everyone. But if it's a small business, you will often know from the boss to the cleaner. So it's really important to know where you are in the friend status, where you are with your partner's friends. And it's, it's these that by understanding the reason why you have certain friends in your life, why others have certain friends in their life. 
And don't ever try and come between your partner and their friends. For the simple reason it makes you look bad, number one. It, it puts a distance between you and their families. And the other thing is that it's not a good look because it just shows a negative side. I know some people can't help it and some people are certain people just want to have just one friend at a time and they can't handle multiple friends. But friendship is something that is really important. Whether you have lots, whether you have little, regardless what it is, is that friendship is what gets us through life. Friendship is something that I want you to truly sit down and work out. Who are your true friends? Who are your acquaintances? Who are the special friends? And who is it that you tell everything to? So with all of these, I want you to have a look at it, work out what you need to do, how things are, and make life easier and more loving and friend or friendship when you have friends in your life. I'm Kerry Hortmo and my business is brain thinking.